When I have money of my own. <laughs> I will buy all the books. <laughs> At once. <laughs> there will be no food that month. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Anna and I'm Michelle and we're the two mythical unicorns and today we're talking about our process of buying books <laughs> and we did not plan this video at all we planned that we would film it we would not we did not plan what we would say so uh, yeah right <laughs> so this is a part of our where we deviate yeah series so you already know that we obviously do this differently <laughs> to condense it down it's to be unaware <laughs> and to be aware. <laughs> to live under a rock. <laughs> to be part of modern society. Maybe we should start... How, how did we do, like, when we first started buying books? Right. So, I uh, first bought, started buying books. That was car boot sales for me as a child. My parents were very involved with the football team of the, uh, the, the little town that I grew up. It's not a town. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> it's, a, it's a village, I guess. First, it's, it's tiny. It's tiny, <laughs> tiny. And so, and my brother played football, so I could like walk around there and I would like get 20 books and pay like a pound. Because <laughs> I'd be like, I want these. And they were like, take them. <laughs> I guess that's where my book buying started was with the car boot sale because it's not like I had money. <laughs> How old were you? At what age was this? <laughs> I would have been around six or seven. Yeah, I guess. How about you? I I started in the store, going down, <laughs> going downtown, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with mom, and then just looking through the bookstore and choosing what I wanted. Because <laughs> yeah, didn't have my own money, <laughs> like sort of. Going through the bookshelves and choosing two books. <laughs> sort of like that. Right. Yeah, because back then I, I I realized that most of my reading was based on what the library had. I didn't buy a lot of books when I was a, was a child. I, I wished for them for birthdays and Christmas and things and my parents would buy them then. But I didn't get a lot of new books as a child. It was mostly from the car boot sale and like my mother's old books and things like that. And then I would start stealing my older brothers, the ones yeah. that he got. And that's how I started reading Harry Potter. <laughs> when we started getting our own money, like... A little bit of money. Uh, allowances. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Then it was mostly our local bookstore for me. Because this would, would have been around when I was, I don't know, 14, 15 possibly. Maybe it was younger. Maybe it was from seventh grade and up. Yeah, because that has to do as well with when, uh, when I was allowed to take the bus or walk uh, yeah. downtown. <laughs> I True. Don't know, I don't know what else to call it. The downtown, yeah. Because like, maybe, depending on the season as well, like yeah. during the summer I could be allowed, but not when it was dark. But yeah, sometime around 7th grade. Yeah, because yeah. then you could go from school and down and then home. At least I was allowed to do that. Yeah, and by then I yeah. <laughs> I was allowed to move around yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, but it's like also before 7th grade, I really... I lived in a small village, so yeah. it's not like I could have gone anywhere. <laughs> by then, so what changed for me... <laughs> was that I had my own money that I could choose how to spend. Not the restriction, you can have two books. <laughs> but, okay, I have this amount of money. Yeah. If I buy four books, <laughs> I cannot buy anything else <laughs> during the rest of the I'm month. I'm done. So that changed. And also the bookshelves. It was still <laughs> the same store. Uh. I just... <laughs> moved over from that age category to the next age category. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. Well, I also think in seventh grade was when I started reading certain books in English. Still did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't read all books in English. It was like a couple where I was like, this seems to be easy enough 
Yeah, that I can read it in English. So then I would rather do that. But those were also more expensive. So <laughs> yeah, there was like a <laughs> okay. Do I want to buy four pocket books or like one English? Yeah. So uh, more often than not, I bought four pocket books. <laughs> that is sort of how I continued till mm. we graduated. Yeah, pretty much the same like, here. Yeah, sometimes we would go. No. To, to the bigger <laughs> cities! <laughs> but no! Yeah, and uh, that meant a bigger bookstore, more to choose from. Yeah. But still, it was in the bookstore, the regular, ordinary yeah. bookstore. Pretty much. Yeah. And what's funny about our like local bookshop is that every time I walk in there, the, the guy who's there, who's been there for like 15 years, is like, Hi, Michelle! <laughs> Have you read this book? They've just come out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've been in there for 10 years. <laughs> I go there every now and again when I'm visiting my mom. Yeah. I think it's nice. Uh, <laughs> it's too far away when I visit my parents. Yeah, well, <laughs> my mother's quite close to me, yeah, so yeah. that works out. <laughs> but it's funny because I, I, I can't be in there for more than like once a year and he's still like, hi! <laughs> small town so. yeah small town <laughs> but i because i i think it might have been in our last year of school is when i might have started buying online at least which is a swedish yeah uh, site for buying books and it was actually my mother who was like you know <laughs> this might be better <laughs> they don't cost as much on here and i was like oh so Sometime after high school, like the local bookstore did not cut it <laughs> yeah. anymore. And you pretty much just read in English by then. Yeah. So it's the, the section of English books in that bookstore is smaller than Anna's bookcase. Yeah, and the books <laughs> don't really change. <laughs> no. And I started buying at the <laughs> stadion.com. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where I bought my books. <laughs> and that was also because shortly after I read a literature course on oh, at yeah. the university, a distance course. So I had to order a lot of those books as well. Mm. So that took me even further in the ordering online. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh yeah, what's changed then is that I moved abroad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The year we turned 20, I moved to Belfast, Northern Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> Your face. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> partly books outside of Sweden. <laughs> it's just a lot cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> partly it was like, so water stones. And <laughs> it's so funny. Remember the first time you came around to visit me? And my, I, my housemate was like, what have you done today? And I was like, I showed her Ethan's and water stones and like all of the used bookstores. And she was like, okay. I think I bought 15 books. Yeah, I have a, I have a clip of that. Let's see that. <laughs> and that, my friends, is 15 books. In a bite. Two hours. They have all the Oh, the joy. Oh, yeah. Such happiness. Pure bliss. But that was that was the second time you visited, because that was in our apartment. That was in the yeah. house. Yeah. I, I bought just as many the first time. I think so. Like, I went over with an empty suitcase, <laughs> and it was just packed. <laughs> with clothes from Primark <laughs> and books. <laughs> I was like, this I, is what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm committed. I don't even think I brought PJs. Because I was like, well, I'm going to buy them. I'm going to buy them at Primark. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I Yeah, absolutely. Sweden is expensive just generally, but it's also like we're used to it. So mm. to us, it doesn't feel expensive. This is just how we live. Yeah. So, <laughs> all of the, like, when books all of a sudden are like half price or even mm. lower sometimes. And, and there's more books to choose from. Yes. And there's books that we find more interesting yeah. to choose from. 
because in Sweden we sort of do <laughs> crime, Nordic noir, and kids books. <laughs> Pretty much. Lately, the last few years, we also do feel good. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so that changed a lot. And that's also when I found uh, Amazon and Book Depository. Yeah. And I don't order off of Amazon. Uh, haven't done since I moved from Belfast because it's a hassle to Sweden anyways. Yeah. Yeah, so that changed a lot. It also opened, like, it meant finding authors that we couldn't find here. I introduced you to Sarah J. Mouse, for yeah. instance. Um, that was such a good trip. <laughs> I found Brandon Sanderson, Neil Gaiman, who... It's not a big author in Sweden, I feel like. I might be wrong. It's not someone I've heard a lot about. <laughs> Come to Britain. Stardust. Stardust. Yeah. That's about it. That's, <laughs> that's where it ends. <laughs> so yeah, there was a lot of authors that I just hadn't heard of because they weren't popular in Sweden. Yeah. That we just sort of discovered because I moved abroad. And the next thing that changed for me was <laughs> Alex showed me the sci-fi bookstore <laughs> when I turned 23. Yes. <laughs> like, it was literally a birthday gift yeah. to go there. He had saved it <laughs> till my birthday to go there. And it's it's the greatest bookstore <laughs> in Sweden. <laughs> yeah, it's just fantasy and sci-fi. Yeah. And manga. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it has a lot of the stuff that just the other bookstores in Sweden just don't. It has a different selection. Yeah, and um, it's just you can go in there and geek out completely. Yeah, it's like, amazing. Yeah. There's like board games and things as well. Yeah. And, uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> like standing in the corner and choosing your dice when you're gonna play D&D. &D. Do I want the pink ones or the purple ones? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then like this started happening. <laughs> yes. Like almost everything up here yeah. is bought there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the rest is bought in Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> that is sort of my process. <laughs> I go in to the sci-fi bookstore yes. and then I look at the shelves and then I decide what I want to buy. <laughs> Some, sometimes I found out find out about books that I want to yeah, buy and absolutely. I can order them online. But in general, I go into the bookstore and then I browse. Yeah. And that makes me happy. <laughs> I like doing both. <laughs> I think, well, this year in particular, I've ordered way more online than I ever have. Yeah, it's been a lot of ordering online. And especially now because I've gotten into, I've started getting into much more of it, the Asian literature of Japanese and Korean and things like that. And yes, there is a selection of that in the sci-fi bookstore. But it's still quite small. Yes. So uh, when I find particular ones that I do want, I, I order them off of <laughs> book depository mostly. Even if you have to wait for like a month. <laughs> you... You do research. Yes. Like you actively go online and try to find out what is out there that I want to buy. Yes. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> well, it's also like, because I get into, you know how I am, I get really intense about things. Yeah. So <laughs> you're like, uh-huh. <laughs> so after that, we- that's, that's like the definition of being a nerd. <laughs> Like, you get really excited about this one thing that you really like. <laughs> but it's like after we did the whole like um, checking our bookshelves for how international they yeah. are, and I was like, Jesus Christ, I have one Japanese book. No, I, I have more than that, but it was like by one author. And then I was like, I have one South American book. I was like, this is not cool. <laughs> Literally the day after I filmed that, I started a new <laughs> wish list on Book Depository of like, okay, Asian literature, <laughs> South African, South American, and yeah, because that's how I am. I've now read one Japanese, two Korean. <laughs> yeah, this is how I am. I, I got suggestions because mine were not as <laughs> international <laughs> and... I had none from uh, South America, like 
none. <laughs> I had and, one. <laughs> and I think I had one from Africa. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was it. So I got some suggestions. And I was like, that's great. I'm going to check that out. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> I'm automatically like, right, I'm doing this now. <laughs> yeah, and I'm usually like that too. But yeah, no, I... Like, for someone who has been studying as much as I have, I don't like doing research. I just like <laughs> to jump straight in head first. <laughs> yeah, that also works. Yeah, and like, I love making lists <laughs> and yeah. checking things off. It's fun. Yeah, I don't do that with books. Just, no. Okay, I'm gonna read this one, and I'm gonna read this one, and now that's done. What do I want to read now? Oh, that one. Yeah, but that's what's kind of practical about you, is that like, you read all the books that you do have, and then you yeah. buy new ones. Mostly. Most of the time. Yeah. I have a few that... You just didn't end I up reading. I don't know what happened. Yeah, but like... <laughs> I bought them. In general, that is how you yeah. read. Yeah. Like, generalized. Uh, obviously, there are exceptions, yeah. because you're a human being. <laughs> no. No. I am kind of the opposite of that. I I, I buy four books, and yeah. I read one of them. Yeah. And the rest of them go on the shelf. <laughs> and I buy four more books. <laughs> and I read one, and the rest go on the shelf. I do end up reading all the books that I buy. It's just like, it takes a while. Yeah. Most of the time, like, when I buy a book, I am very excited about yeah. it, and I want to read it right away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, usually, it's, some, sometimes I, <laughs> we all mess up, <laughs> sometimes I buy a book <laughs> that just mm, didn't work out. Yeah, and I look at it afterwards, and I'm like, what was I thinking? I, tr I tried something here, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot with classics. So, I try to, like... I have like a, yeah, I have a list on Book Depository of just classics, but it's like, I do want to read these someday, and because of that, I want to have nice editions of them. Yeah. So I want the editions that I actually want. So that's about it, like, so I can buy a classic and be like, yeah, I know I'm not going to read this the second I get home. Yeah. But I want that edition of it. When you read it. Yeah, so I'm buying it anyway. Yeah, I just get excited. Yeah. <laughs> and most of the books that I have now that are nice editions, mm -hmm. those are books that I've either listened to audiobook and gone like, I love this book and I need to have it in my bookshelf because I need to see it yes. regularly to uh, remind me of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> what if it does? Like, every time I see that, it makes me happy. Yeah. But I've only listened to it. I've, I've read parts of it, yeah. like favorite parts I've gone back and read it. But first time I listened to it in audiobooks. And then we have Aristotle and Dante. Yeah. And I read your copy. And yeah. then I was like, okay, I need to have it in my bookshelf. <laughs> so most of the nicer copies I have, it's actually books that I've you bought. already read. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the same thing with Good Omens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You read my copy. And I was like, okay, this was good. I need to have a pretty one. Yeah. So oh, I always, I'm always like, I want the ones that looks the best. <laughs> I don't know what edition I want. Um, and sometimes I pay way too much for it. But that's fine. <laughs> like my edition of Stardust. <laughs> no one needs to know. It was expensive. <laughs> no one needs to know. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It has illustrations and it's hardback. And yeah. <laughs> I have books that I've paid way too much for too. <laughs> I have an Australian edition of the Book Thief. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I found it on... Where did I find it? I don't know. But I paid a lot <laughs> because it had to be sent from Australia to Sweden. <laughs> yeah, but that's another thing where we differ. You buy several copies of the same yeah, book. in different editions. Uh -huh. I try to buy the nicest one. Yeah. And the day that I have money, there are books that I want to buy in pretty editions. 
yeah. and get rid of the paperbacks. Yeah. Uh, but you collect because you like <laughs> several. I just have one edition. <laughs> well, <laughs> I do that for for certain books. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, obviously, you can't have like, imagine <laughs> four different books for each story. <laughs> That'd be incredible. But no. Uh, and I have a list of that too on Book Depository of things. And I'm like, I am going to buy the more beautiful editions of these. So I'm going to buy John Green books in the hardback covers for instance because I'm like well those were a big part of my late teens yeah uh, and I love those books so but the thing with me is that I can't get rid of the original copy because <laughs> that one has all the memories yes that one is still important <laughs> I'm thinking I might keep the old ones because then, then I can lend those out. I can keep pretty yeah. ones for myself. <laughs> yeah. And I can just lend the, the ones I had first yeah. to other people. For example. Yeah. But it's also like, I have three copies of the first Harry Potter book. Yeah, I only have one. I did have two of Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> the biggest one? <laughs> or was it half one? Because I, I got the English one ah. uh, for my aunt and then I didn't read it in English and waited for the Swedish one. <laughs> I have <laughs> I have the Swedish one yeah. and then I have the 20th edition one yeah. and then I have the illustrated one. So I technically have two of the forced, f first <laughs> four books of Harry Potter because I get the illustrated ones from my mother for Christmas. I don't. <laughs> I wish for them every year. <laughs> Still haven't gotten them. Yeah. When I have money of my own, <laughs> I will buy all the books <laughs> at once. <laughs> there will be no food that month. <laughs> Just books. <laughs> yeah, I buy several editions of one. Um, I need to buy another copy of, copy of I Am the Messenger because that is like falling apart. But I'm not getting rid of the original. That's I, not how it I works. actually have that one as a hardback. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I have two or three copies of The Book Thief. I have two or three copies of Good Omens. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the book thieves you got from me. <laughs> yes, I didn't choose to have that many. <laughs> yeah, well, because it was signed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine. I'm not complaining. I, I couldn't get my own signed copy and not get you one. <laughs> well, yeah, so that was, that's how we differ. <laughs> that's where we deviate in yes. our book buying yeah. habits. I don't know if we said anything useful. No, it was just a discussion, really. Yeah. <laughs> Now you know more about our personalities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time. Bye. Bye.